Hey, how you doing? Justin here. Today I want to talk about strumming the correct strings. Now, as you're probably aware, when we play a D chord, we don't want to play the thickest two strings. But as a beginner, that's going to be quite challenging, especially if you're playing a song that, that you're worrying about your chord changes and everything else. So I want to say, does it really matter? Now, if you're aiming for the thinnest four strings for the D chord and you accidentally hit the fifth string, sounds fine. In fact, it, sometimes it sounds really good to have that note. On the D chord, the thicker string doesn't sound very good. But you know what? In the early stages, it's going to happen. So don't worry about it. If you accidentally hit that thicker string, no one's going to get hurt. It's not going to cause any problems. It might not be perfect, but that doesn't matter. It's really important that you get that. The fun thing here is making your chord changes, trying to do the strumming, playing along with some songs. There's a whole lot of stuff to learn. Not playing the, the thicker string on a D chord is kind of important in the grand scheme of guitar, but not in the first few weeks. So try not to hit it when you're strumming, but if you accidentally hit it, it doesn't matter. With the A chord, you're not supposed to play the thicker string, but it doesn't sound bad, actually. It's a note in the chord, actually. The E note is part of an A chord. It's here. And here. Two outside strings are both the note E. So if you can play the thinnest one, you can kind of play the thickest one. It just doesn't sound as good as if you leave it out. Now, these things are ideal. So it's the sort of thing that you want to bear in mind when you're practicing, but there are other priorities like making your chord changes, strumming on the one, making sure all of the notes are nice in the chords. That sort of stuff is far more important than possibly accidentally hitting one of the strings that you shouldn't on a particular chord. So be aware of it when you're practicing, particularly you're doing your chord perfect exercises. You want to be doing your strum correctly from the right string and you know making sure that you don't play those thickest two strings. But especially when it comes to songs, when there's other stuff going on, this really isn't the top of the priority list.